Welcome back, guys, to Super Hostile number 12, Inferno Mines. I am standing here at intersection 1, and I was just about to head off to, uh, to look for Skylight C, the last one we have to explore. When I glanced down here and curiosity got the better of me, I decided I just have to know what's down there right this second. So uh, what I did is I dug a little... There's lava right there. Uh, I dug a little staircase down here just to see before I started recording and lo and behold what do we see but a chest right there, a tunnel over there, and a tunnel over there. So I dug this staircase down and I dug this little path beyond there almost all the way to the tunnel. I left those two blocks there in case there are mobs there so that they won't be able to pass over here until I'm ready for them and until it's on camera so if I explode it will be uh, caught for everyone to see. I have not looked in here yet, so let's take a look. Oh, look at this. More chain. Oh my gosh. Sharpness 4, knockback 1, looting 2. So, doesn't have the fire aspect, but uh, definitely a stronger sword than what I've been using. Um, that's pretty darn good. It's a bunch of random tools, bone meal, another ender pearl, cookies, pumpkin pie, raw beef. Fishing rod. I wonder, uh, Vex is using a random loot chest mod uh, to put random um, items like this. And he... What the hell? That is a zombie busting down a door. Okay, this must... Is this planned? What's going on here? Um, that's really weird. Is this a trap of some kind? I'm not sure what's going on. That's the sound of a zombie trying to knock down a door. The only wood door around here is up there in the Saurian sign-off shelter and the, the little door I put in front of that room to close it off. It's possible there's a zombie up there, but it sounds like he was right here. What happens if I just dig this? There it is again. It's right here. What the heck? I don't know. Um, so he uses a random loot chest or a random loot um, chest mod to put uh, chests all over the map, and he picks the different items that he thinks are okay to put in here. Um, and these are two of them next to each other. So this is one, and then this is one. That's why there's this big gap of items there. Uh, and he told me one of the reasons he did that is so that when he plays the map, there's uh, there's still surprises in store. Let me run up here real quick just to check on my door. That's my door. There's a door. Oh, maybe it's over here. And there's another door up there, but we wouldn't be able to hear the sound from that far away. That I want. There it is again. <laughs> this is creeping me out so much. I I don't know, whatever. Okay, it doesn't matter. <laughs> who, who cares? Um I I'm having a hard time uh, locating where that sounds coming from. It doesn't matter. Let's head back down here. So those are two of the chests. Let's look at uh, what's in these tunnels. Uh, I'm just gonna say that that's a zombie somewhere beating on a door and not some nefarious trap. Um, <laughs> I, don't, I, I can't I can't find a zombie. Don't know where he is. So oh well. What's this? Oh, is this the? Okay, I think I know where this is. I think this may be. Um, one of the dungeons. So I would have been led down here one way. Yeah, okay. This is where I just was. This loops around. Okay, so I would have um, I would have found this place underneath here one way or another. Whether I had dug down like that or not. Yeah, there's the intersection. Okay, so let's see what the other tunnel is. Maybe it leads to one of the other dungeons. And then, um, if there's nothing else here, 
I'll move the stuff in the chests up to the house, or, you know, the, the little room I'm inhabiting, until I make a proper house, and don't worry, I will eventually make one. There's a skelly. Only one. There's some more. Aha, suck it! You must pass through my wall of flame to face me! And we'll just let them duke it out. Alright. Um, I, I realized after recording the last session that I hadn't really been using that enough. And that I should probably start. Here, I'll just watch, wait for you to burn to death, buddy. Gotta conserve my sword, even though I have a better one. It doesn't have fire aspect on it. Here, let's come back this way. Or you can die there. Ah, no experience orbs! Okay, I'm out of torches. I uh, I do have some glowstone, though. I wanted to use these for Skylight C, but I'm kind of intrigued where this is going now. This must be part of that dungeon, though. So I'm probably getting a little ahead of ourselves here. Yeah, it is. Ooh, okay, there's a big dungeon complex there. Okay, and this is not some like little hidey hole thingy. This is that's a that's a full dungeon down there. So, um, let's head back to the house. I'm gonna transfer stuff in those boxes, and then we'll head out for Skylight C. Okay, here we go. One left to do Skylight C. I realized uh, I had a knockback weapon here, and I hadn't really been using it. I just got it at the very end of last episode, I suppose, when I got to the end of. Um, uh, Skylight B. So let's uh, let's use it a little bit. Maybe I can move a little bit quicker. There's some lava there blocking the path. You can either go around this side or this side. Uh, let's go up along the wall here. It's probably the easiest way to go. I see a ladder of some sort there. I want to get up there. So let's just build our way up. I actually have ladders that I that I picked up, but I'd rather save them for the Intersection 1 dungeons. And I'm still wearing the remnants of my leather armor. The helmet is broken, and I the rest of it's very... it's gonna break very soon. Uh, but I decided to save the chain armor for this stuff at Intersection 1 as well. Uh, because the sign said the map gets much harder at that point. And I think I'm handling the natural spawn monsters fine, just fine. I'm I'm kind of looking at the <laughs> the scenic quality of this uh, this chamber, the the curves and the walls. It, it looks really nice. Well, well, well done, Vex. Well done. Okay, so there's a ladder there, and looks like it's protected by glass to help you come down. But I'm gonna I think I'm gonna come up this way and come up. up uh, across via that ledge and there's no monsters up here so I'm just gonna leave it dark um, but I do you know what I changed my mind <laughs> I'm gonna place one contradict myself as soon as I say something and that'll that'll make it easier for me to find the way down I also uh, in that box I just found that we just explored there was a gold pair of boots with unbreaking three or four, and feather falling four. I'm going to save those as well for um, next time I'm in an environment that looks like it has some heights to it. Okay, I don't see any monsters up there. Why can't I... wasn't let me move forward there for a second. Okay, so we need to get up there. There's a bunch of skeletons and a ladder. Now, if you decide to ride that ladder, more power to you. I think it might be slightly foolish. It's uh, you're, you're just asking to get knocked off by skeleton fire. So I'm gonna build a uh, staircase up through the, the wall here. Seems much safer to me. So let's put one more down. Uh, I, I do wanna conserve my glowstone until I, I do plan to use it all for Skylight Z, but I wanna actually get into Skylight Sea before I start using it. We're still not there. 
This is still the upper mines here. Oh god, that scared me. Here. Get a knockback job. Oh, there's nowhere for you to knock back to. That's alright. Oh, someone else coming. Okay, gotta kill you quick. <laughs> Quit messing around. Monsters coming from both directions. Yeah, I just got shot at. You're down there. Okay. What ha Why did my food bar? Was it that low? Oh, I grabbed the potatoes. Damn it. Alright, be right back. I gotta... I need to go get the real potatoes. Alright, here we go. There is the staircase. I have proper baked potatoes now. I'm just gonna plant that one glowstoney right there. Bustify that. Um, yeah, that ladder is... I actually may take those ladders when I come out, when I leave here, if there's no skeletons around. Because those are kind of valuable while my wood is limited. Upper mines, that away. Armory, this away. Alright. Well, I assume if you got this far, you probably have blocks to place. I don't know how else you would get across that. Wah! Shibber jibber jibber! Gah! Scare the bajubu out of me! Zombie! Hey, zombie! Here, come through the door. <laughs> Dumbass. Here, um, come this way. Yeah, oh boy. You're still okay. You recovered. <laughs> ah, okay, fine. Oh, he knocked me on fire. Lovely. All right. Okay. Get your serious pants on. No more being stupid. <laughs> you did it too. Here, have a bat to your face. Okay, you're dead. Nothing down there but lava for light, I guess. Lots of zombies, huh? Okay. Alright, so let's, uh... Here, put this out. Close that. No spiders either. No spiders allowed. Hello! Um, alright, I gotta knock back. No, don't blow a hole in that, please. Get get a knockback job, man. This would have with this item would have been so useful on that uh, on that end that beginning area. Yeah, boy. Oh, you're dead. Man, this thing would have been awesome to have. Uh, before I go in there, actually, I'm gonna do this. Yeah, spiders. Aha! My caution is warranted. Hi, Creeper. <laughs> no! Oh, great! Oh, there's a spawner, huh? Oh, shit! Okay, run! S creeper spawners? And monsters out here. Oh my god! Okay, this went from um, funny to bad. I need to um, I need to get my game face on here. Let me put a glowstone out here, right there. Okay, um, time to be a little more serious about this then. There. Okay. Can't get by. Oops. Lots of creepers here. And I want to... I actually want to keep these spawners. So let's come through the wall here and shut this guy down while they burn to death. Dummies. There. That should make that bright enough. Lots of these guys, huh? And bookshelves in here. Don't burn my bookshelves. I want those. And I'm low on uh, lighting materials. I, I don't want to break these spawners because I may want to use them for gunpowder. Uh, I have a pretty good uh, access to sand in Amanita Cavern. And if I can get uh, a steady supply of TNT early on, that would be huge. Let me just make sure. Yeah, I don't think anything's going to be able to come through there. 
Let's see, the spawner is all the way back there, huh? But there's, hmm, there's glowstone in the floor there. But I guess it's not close enough. Hey, boys! Whoop! I do not need you blowing that up. I'm gonna dash in there and light this up in a second. There's one over, there's a couple over here, huh? Okay, I can't exactly see. I don't want this burning up my... Don't blow up! We've had enough explosions for one episode. Thank you mightily. And don't burn those bookshelves. Oh, they blew up a chest. Oh, that's not the block I want to break. I want to come in through here. There. Oh boy! Almost dead! Run! Wow, that was close. And let's pick up this stuff too. Oh boy. Lots of books. Man, I, I really don't want to get rid of those guys. Ooh! Oh! Okay, um... And I don't want anything spawning here. Whew. Okay. Now, I want to be safe so I can look in my inventory. My armor broke, but I got projectile protection, which would be good against skeletons. Uh, bottle of enchanting, another bow, probably more arrows, some nether wart. Okay, so I've been, uh... I've been uh, kind of messing around and being a little cocky and because I, I have some items and weapons now So I thought I was a little stronger. I am a little stronger, but um, I Think I was a little hasty in coming into this area So okay, what I'm gonna do now Let's first look for more armor See if we can find a helmet Sharpness to knock back to on breaking to Let's upgrade our sword Smite five, ooh. Um, let's see, I need a helmet. And torches. I'm gonna make some torches out of this coal right now. I have a stack, so let's dump this guy here. And then I don't want anything spawning in here ever again. And I don't want any of these creepers spawning either. I want to make uh, grinders out of this, so I have an early an early source of TNT will be huge. It will be hugely advantageous for me. And then we want to find an axe and take all these books. Okay, not tra not trapped. Once again, I looked afterwards. Man, I was half a heart from death. That was very close. I, uh, pure luck, really. <laughs> pure luck that I'm not dead. Helmets! A golden helmets. Good. Um, let's see, we have lighting implements. So let's go ahead and actually let's drop some of this stuff off. We're gonna come back for it in a bit. What I want is an axe. There's an axe. Oops, I did not mean to drop that. Uh, I'm not gonna... Here, we can break this like this. I don't know if that bug is still in the game to let eh, creepers spawn in newly uh, vacated chunks, or not chunks, but uh, blocks. I'm not going to attempt it though. I want all these bookcases. Okay, Zombles, I get it. You're trying to break the door down. Speaking of which, are you on the other side of this door? No, they're somewhere else. Okay, so my armor level has actually gone up quite a bit. I've gone from leather armor to iron leggings, chain boots, golden, and golden. Got quite a few books in case I find a uh, an enchanting table at some point. Okay, let's put these books in Oh, okay, they all fit. Alright, anything else we want to take? Uh, I'm gonna keep going forward. What's this guy? Sharpness. Got plenty of arrows. 
Uh, decent amount of torches. I will come back if I want more torches. Now let's put the axe up. And I don't need a duplicate sword now that I have an iron sword of unbreakingness. Okay. Let's continue. I'm having fun. I hope you are too. There are spiders in here. Suck it. Now let's go in this room first. I want to kill these guys before I come in here. Hi. Hey, knock back. And there's, I guess there's zombies up here. Let's go ahead and close that off 100%. And put a torch on it. For, uh, the torches mean there's something on the other side, just in case I would forget that there are stairs right there. Hmm, lots of monsters in here. Yep. So good. I guess we may have to just dive in. I am I'm decently equipped at this point. Iron weapon with enchantments. And iron armor, kind of. This guy's got a, a hat on him. All right, here we go. Oh, no, no! I meant to hit W, not E. My little, my hand went grr, grr, grr. All right, suck it. Yeah, 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 zombies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lava for lights. All right, we'll, we're gonna come back to that in a second. And what is over here? Armory, Skylight C. Okay, let's finish what we're doing here. We'll return to investigate that after we've pacified the dissidents. <laughs> Hey -o. So, um, Vex said this was the most difficult of the skylights, and I see why. Uh, trying to get through here without the equipment I have now would be pretty tough. Alright, come on. Yep. More books. Cool. And another chest. What do we have here? Ooh, a diamond or a gold pickaxe, almost broken. Leather armor, weapons, and I did not stop to look if that was uh, if it was um, <laughs> a trap chest or not. I just opened it. I, I really need to get better at that. Oh, hello. All right, he did. Combat supplies low. That is not a random chest. That's one of Vex's chests. Look at that. That is definitely not a uh, trap chest. I did look. 64 leather. Awesome. Man, there are some good supplies in here. Give me this. I know there's nothing under here because I can tell the difference in the texture. That's one of the other reasons I, I, I was thinking of using a, um, a like a totally new texture pack I'd never used before. I decided that would be a bad idea um, because situations like that, I, I need to know like exactly what texture it is. I need to be able to recognize it right away, right off the bat. So uh, once I come out of this place, I'm gonna have a ton of materials, ton of supplies. Actually, let's, um, are there any other picks in here? Or should we just save the better picks for intersection one stuff? I don't see any picks. Okay. Um, oh, what I did want was the axe. I'm gonna chop down these book, oh, oh, okay. Uh, I'm gonna chop down these bookcases very quickly. And now that I've seen this place, I kind of want to try to assault it, like to start a new game, just to try to assault it. Uh, without the supplies I had to begin with to see if I could do it without dying or something Because um, it looks <laughs> it looks like a lot of fun um, I probably would not have died In skylight a if I had have had the uh, the knockback this guy uh, whatever it's called flame flash or whatever I Probably would not have died 
Um, but who knows? We'll, we'll never know because I I never found it. Oh, okay, we've already been here. Let's uh, let's go dump this stuff in the box, and then we'll go upstairs. Uh, okay. Oh, this one has the books. Let's put all the books in one. Okay. And that one has some empty spots. Put the axe up. All right, let's go upstairs. Then we'll go. Uh, we'll backtrack to the skylight. Hey, buddy. You're dead. And I'm down to a stack. Okay. Down to a full stack of torches because I made more. Oh. <laughs> wow. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Sweet. Just come bubbling out of there like a like a cauldron that's been. Ugh. Here, let's do this. Hi, Enderman. Just what I need. Okay, screw the door. We don't need doors. Where well, we're going? <laughs> there are. We, yeah. Bleh, never mind. Um. Yeah. Hi. Oh, we was he sleeping? Did I wake you up? I'm sorry. Here. We're, I can't hit this guy. I can't hit his feet for some reason. Hmm. Weird. Hey, buddy. Hey, what are you doing? Did you lose? Did you forget about me already? I can't hit his feet. That's weird. Oh, okay. Whatever. I've got knocked back. Oh, there's a spawner. That makes sense. Okay, Enderman, I'm not looking at you. I'm not looking at you. Dawnbringer palette. Uh, okay, look at that in a second. Ooh, lovely view. We'll look at that in a second, too. So we've got three... Three creeper spawners to make a grinder out of for gunpowder and possibly experience. Uh, if I have a need for experience or use for experience, I should say. Ooh. Okay, we're gonna look at those in a second as well. Man, there is a lot of supplies here. Um, let's just look through these briefly. Sharpness, fire aspect, and breaking. Efficiency, sharpness, okay. A bottle of enchanting, more armor, leather. More supplies than you could shake a stick at. And my armor's doing just fine. Okay, let's look at this. Projectile protection, blast protection, feather falling, fire protection, thorns three, unbreak three. No, no actual protection. And no enchanting table. So we're gonna save these three creeper spawners to make a grinder out of later. Projectile protection. What am I wearing? Same thing, but gold. Dawn bring a paladin's bead. Bed bedu. Smite three, looting one. Okay. All right. Let's. Oh, the sun's coming up. That's nice. Uh, let's look here. Let's wait for the... I guess is that is the wall there so far away it's not going to load, so we're just going to see the sun. Okay, let's backtrack. Now that we've done that, I'm going to leave all this stuff... Oh, don't look at the enderman. I'm going to leave all this stuff in the box. Come back later. Okay. Uh... So let's backtrack to the actual skylight. This is the armory, which we have finished, which was a lot of fun. Easily, I would I would say pretty easily the most challenging of the, of the ones we've done. And I have lots of arrows now, so I might as well use them. Hey-o. Get a knockback job. Oh, hey-o. Okay, have lots of torches now, relatively speaking. Don't have to worry about the creeper spawners anymore. So let's backtrack. Uh, I suppose we'll find another lighter back here somewhere. Oh man, I gotta, yes, I'm gonna start a single player. I'm gonna restart the game uh, just for fun, just to try and complete this area uh, without all the items I came in here with, because that sounds like a challenge. Yep. Sure. it. 
Hey -o. Hey -o. You know what? Zombie. You're gonna get that. Alright, never mind. I changed my mind. No more fooling around. Fooling around has nearly gotten me murderized. Kabloomied. Okay, let's head up. Oh! Okay, creeper fell into the lava. And I'm trying to look into this little area chamber without anything creeping up on me. I want to ha, creeping up on me. I wanted to see if there's any anything of note back there besides lava and sandstone and there I did there's not. And these are slabs. Okay. So we, uh, we do need to keep that bright, but it's I don't think it's a big deal. Hmm. Okay. There's a, a ledge around the top there. So I'm going to be extra careful here. Because of that. Because of that. Exactly because of that. And this looks like the little starting area. Hi, guys. Sorry. Take a lava bath. There's the bed. Darkness above. And the... Uh, the item's probably back. I see glass right there. So I'm going to go behind it, and there's probably going to be another one of these lighters here. Oh, there goes that pick. I hear something. You hear that? There he is. Zing. Shkaping. All right, no biggles. Level 23, yeah. Flamebringer, level one. Uh, I assume that implies that there will eventually be a level two and three. At a minimum, so we've got another one of these guys in case I lose one. Actually, give me this guy. Uh, I'm gonna need more boxes to store all this stuff I've just acquired. So this uh, this chamber looks almost identical to the ones we were in before in Skylight A and B. There's the skylight, I guess. And there's another bed there, which I'm not going to bother to take. Uh, I have enough string now where I can just make extra beds if I want one. Uh, next time I move my spawn forward. Okay. Let's get out of here. Make sure the, uh, the glass... I need to change this texture. It's going to drive me a little... It's going to kill my nerves. So I think I could get through here. If I came through here in a new game... Man, I have to do that. That sounds fun. If I came through here in a new game, I would only have that knockback device. I'd have to go kind of slow. I wouldn't have any armor. Come down on this platform. Arrows coming this way and that way. Okay, yeah. Maybe next episode I'll try to do that. Or maybe we'll skip a few episodes. Or I'll wait a few episodes before I do that. Uh, just so you don't see the same area in uh, two episodes back to back. But we're done with Skylight C. We're done with Skylights A, B, and C. The, the combat-oriented chart. Chart. The combat-oriented start. Good choice. Hmm. And I wouldn't have had uh, like blocks to place to cover corridors and things, which is pretty big for taking on areas like this. All right. So um, that is Skylight C. I'm gonna spend some time transporting items. Uh, transporting items. Oh, there's beds here, right? I can take some of these. I'm gonna spend some time transporting items back to uh, the intersection one house, and then we'll do a little a short little update recap when I'm done. All right, everything has been pulled back from uh, Skylight C, and I organized everything into nine double chests. I will need more storage eventually, but. It's amazing how much I have already. Haven't even started uh, the different dungeons at Intersection 1. I've got a bunch of tools, a stupid amount of weapons. I have so many weapons, I had to separate the weapon and armor chest. I had them together originally. I have a lot of armor. Uh, I, even have a, a, I even have a diamond helmet here. have three Feather Falling 4 Unbreaking 4 boots, uh, gold boots. I'm wearing one of them. I have a lot of food and essentially 
an infinite amount of food through potatoes or mushroom soup or whatever I, I plan to use or decide to use. Decent amount of drops so far. Only a little bit of coal. This is the one left. Uh, the one thing left that's limited is my ability to create light. Um, I'm gonna go looking for coal in intersection one. Hopefully, we'll find some. A bunch of bottles of enchanting, some enchanted books, which I can't use yet. Uh, some rails. I got a bunch. There's a lot of more rails back at uh, Skylight B and Amanita Cavern. A lot of books for when I find an enchanting table. I'll have enough to uh, get level 30 enchants. A lot of beds. A lot of blocks. And still a stack of wood left. So we're done with the stuff uh, before intersection one. Except for the cave spider area, which I will tackle in the next video. Um, and then after that, we'll start taking on these dungeons, the Outer Darkness, the Everforge, and the Lower Mines. Uh, okay, so that's it then. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. We're making some serious progress here. See you later. Take it easy. Can't open a door when you're shifting. When you're holding shift, you cannot close a door. Word to the wise. This is a tip. Bro sauce. See you later. Bye-bye.